All right, I have this one. Okay. It's it's a former Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill, I guess her name. Mm-hmm. Um, she talks about Trump and Biden and stuff like that as far as this specific trip. I'm not sure that it was all pre-planned, but it has certainly all been well executed. His back and forth with the nuttiest of the nutty Republicans at the State of the Union pulling off this trip and these images of defenders of democracy from two very different generations walking shoulder to shoulder in Kyiv. Um, what do you make of this moment in the Biden presidency? Well, it's very important because in the back of everyone's mind, there's always a contrast. There's always a comparison. And this kind of dovetails with what you talked about earlier, that when the president runs for re-election, it is not a referendum on him. It is a choice. And if you compare and contrast Donald Trump, Donald Trump was afraid to go to Afghanistan. Um, and Afghanistan. Donald Trump uh, was I, afraid I, to stay upstairs during the Black Lives Matter protests. He, he exactly. 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 Yeah. I mean, very little courage. And, you know, having flown into war zones a number of times, both Iraq and Afghanistan, as a member of the Senate, um, was there moments that it was weird? Yes. But there was always a sense that you're surrounded by the United States military, you are enveloped by the United States mm-hmm. military. When that Air Force One flew over the border into Ukraine, everybody knows it was just that airplane from the United States in that airspace. Mm. And that took courage. And that courage is a very important component of a reelect for Joe Biden, because strength matters. And one of the things that Donald Trump has always done is projected false strength. He's been a bully. He's made Mm -hmm. stuff up. He's lied. What you're seeing today was the president of the United States showing valid, real, authentic courage to show the rest of the world that the United States was not going anywhere in this battle against war criminals who want to take over a sovereign nation. Real, authentic is what she's saying. Well, I know which way I'm voting next year. And then her claims as far as Trump was afraid to go to Afghanistan. Do you remember when he went to Afghanistan? I don't, other than, I don't really see the point of going to Afghanistan, right? It was a surprise visit to, it was during Christmas. I he think he went for Christmas. It was a surprise visit to yeah, the Yeah, something like there. that. I, I can see that, but, I mean, bro. I mean, he wasn't afraid to go. He went, dude, the dude went to freaking North Korea and, and with, with, Kim Jong Un. He actually Come on, didn't, dude, I, didn't he actually cross into North Korea like territory? He was in North Korea. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah, yeah. at the, at Kim Jong Un's house, their White House. No, he made it all the yes. way over there. Yes. No shit. He shook his hand, dude. So how are you gonna sit there and say that Biden did this? This dude went to North Korea with that idiot over there, the Rocket Man. <laughs> Trump steps into North Korea and agrees with Kim Jong-un to resume talks. President Trump on Sunday became the first sitting American commander-in-chief to set foot in North Korea as he met Kim Jong-un, the country leader at the heavily fortified demilitarized zone, and the two agreed to restart negotiations on a long, elusive nuclear agreement. Greeted by a beaming Mr. Kim, the, step, the president stepped across a low concrete border marker. See, he didn't. I, I don't remember him going into the actual White House of North Korea. I thought he actually went to his house. Didn't he shake his hand? Yeah, he did. It, it happened there at the demi- demilitarized zone. Hold on, let me finish. The oh, president okay. stepped across a low concrete border marker at 3.46 p.m. local time and walked 20 paces to the base of a building on North Korea's side for an unprecedented camera-friendly demonstration of friendship intended to revitalize st- stall talks. It is good to see you again, an excuper Mr. Kim told the president through an interpreter. I never expected to meet you in this place. Big moment. Big moment, Mr. Trump told him. Of course he would say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> after ab- about a minute on officially... Ho- Huge. About, Huge. Yeah. About, after about a minute on officially hostile territory, Mr. Trump escorted Mr. Kim back over the line into South Korea. Oh. So they went into South Korea. Well, the two briefly addressed a scrum of journalists before slipping inside the building known as Freedom House for a private conversation along with President Moon Jae in South Korea, of South Korea. Mr. Trump said he would invite Mr. Kim to visit him at the White House. You know, man, again, 
I've already said. I think that's more brave than, than but what. It's not even just that, right? Look. A bully doesn't do that, right? A bully doesn't no. do that? Like you, you're well, not you're not gonna bully somebody else that's been bullying another country, right? And, and I'm and look, you know, I've never thought that, I never thought that I was gonna be defending Trump, right? But does that seem like something that a bully would do? Like, yeah, a bully kind of goes after the biggest bully, right? I I, I think, well, no, not necessarily. Yeah, I guess. but don't you think? Don't you, of, don't you think that like somebody like like the like the president or dictator or whatever the fuck you want to call him right whatever title you want to use right don't you think he what title do you want to use i don't care whatever president dictator whatever the fuck right the point that i'm trying to make is like if it he has a lot of responsibility to save face to his people right so like you're gonna let yourself be bullied into like by especially by donald trump by the american president it just doesn't seem like bullying to me. It seems like again the in. I don't. We, we're not. We don't have that information as far as the in the ins and outs of it. But it just seems like good diplomacy to me, right? Yeah, it does. Well, you should have. What do you What do you think? How do you think the media? So you can't. You can't give them credit way? for that. No, no. I, I, I say the way around. They, they, dude. They were saying no. Now, now, look at him. He's kissing up to this guy. Oh, look. Of course, he's gonna be shaking hands with that. They, him and Putin, and uh, they're all the same. That's the reason. Come on, man. I remember that vividly when all that shit was going on. 